Hello guys, this is Xander uh, Sham from the YouTube channel Xander Sham. No, that was wrong. Uh, this is Let Us Play from the YouTube channel Xander Sham. And this is part 8 of the Karazhan Key quest line. And this is very good for. Uh, this, is, this is very good in this video because uh, these mobs you can just ignore completely. Now, back in the old days, those mobs would have caused you quite a bit of trouble. Uh, but now with your level 80 you can just completely ignore them. Uh, which is a good thing because they are quite nasty, the abilities they do. Uh, however, these mobs you cannot ignore, but they're not that difficult to kill anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Because as you can see, there are protein spawners in these corpses. Yeah, the corpses on the floor, wh why else would there be blood of corpses on the floor except if they had mobs in them? So yeah, uh, you just go to the right after you exit that little pathway here and you will go to the arcane and container where you will get the third fragment of the key now uh, you can just turfstone immediately but somehow I managed to pull aggro off this uh, negaton co-op master again these mobs cause can be co could cause quite a bit of damage because when they get to low health they get a stacking buff which increases their shadow damage by quite a lot actually uh, but now it's dead, so who cares? Uh, after you go back to talk to Kadga, he will give you a quest to tell you to go to the Caverns of Time and talk to Mediv. The problem is Mediv is in the uh, is in the Black Morass, but you can't get into the Black Morass unless until you do the Keepers of Time quest line, which requires you to do uh, the Durnhold Keep first. I actually don't know this. Maybe this being changed, but I f still think you have to do Durnhold Keep before you do uh, Black Morass. As you saw there, you had to also go on a tour with the Custodian of Time. That takes about five minutes, but uh, I cut that out because it's not needed. Uh, here is the Durnhold Keep. You have to talk to the um, talk to the Blood Elf there first. Uh, I don't actually know if it's a Blood Elf. It might be a High Elf. Uh, who will give you a pack of incendiary bombs, which you will need uh, to uh, set five log cabins uh, on fire uh, in the in, in the uh, Lordaeron internment camp. I'm not really sure what it's called. It's internment lodges set ablaze, which will do something to do with the orcs or free them or something. Uh, as you can see there, I just dodged all the mobs and just jumped right into the right into uh, this uh, I really don't know what this place is called uh, we've just gone into the instance now and we are on the same level as where the lodges are uh, you will have to kill quite a lot of mobs in order to get to the lodges but the mobs are only level 66 uh, like 67 which means they're much easier than the mobs we were killing before so no problem whatsoever uh, to plant the incendiary bombs, you just go into each uh, each interment lodges. You will find this little barrel, which is like the barrels you get milk from if you're uh, while you're leveling. You just click on it, and you have to do this five times. Uh, well, you have to do this once in each of the different lodges, so you have to do it five times, which will summon the boss, which means you will have to, and and then you can continue in the instance. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if you actually have to do this in order to get to the second boss, uh, but you certainly have to do it in order to continue the quest line in order to, you know, unlock the Black Morass. And as you can see here, I'm killing a lot of mobs still, but I decided to record this part because I'm killing like eight mobs at once because uh, um, they're very, very easy to kill and I've got my spirit wolves out, so we're just, you know, owning them all. Uh, they despawned before I killed them all, but uh, there's only two left now, so not that prop, not my, that big of a problem. So yeah, <clears throat> and after you've set all the incendiary bombs, the first boss of this instance will come, will come down. He's called Lieutenant Drake, and he used to be one of the easiest bosses uh, in. Uh, the Burning Crusade. He was he was the, the easiest heroic bosses anyway for the Burning Crusade. He was that's all he because all he basically does is a whirlwind. He also does something to do with the tank, but uh, mostly it's just a whirlwind, which means he's extremely easy to kill and very very easy as long as casters or ranged people don't stand 
right next to him, then you're going to kill him. Uh, but really now, that's not really useful advice because no one's level 70. Unless people are staying level 70 for the lols or for for some reason. I don't really know. Uh, maybe they like being level 70. Uh, uh, you have to go into the Durnhold Keep now to talk to Fral, who is at the who is in the dungeon at the very bottom of this keep. And in the next video, we're going to be doing the rest of the Durnhold Keep. And I think we won't be actually going to the Black Morass in the next video. I think that will be reserved for part 10. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video, and I hope to see you in part 9 of the thing. Bye-bye.